Hey, here we are again on October 9th, following the General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, with President Russell M. Nelson at the helm, telling us how important the name of the church is, and this recent push to emphasize the name of Jesus Christ. In fact, of course, we don't even do home teaching anymore. It's ministering because we minister for Jesus. All these things are all about how Christian Mormonism is. And he's going to expound upon how important the name of the church is and make some important statements here. And very quickly, we're going to see something, well, I don't think that Russell's going to like. Name of the church. Some weeks ago, I released a statement regarding a course correction for the name of the church. I did this because the Lord impressed upon my mind the importance of the name he decreed for his church. Even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Let me explain why we care so deeply about this issue. But first, let me state what this effort is not. It is not a name change. It is not rebranding. It is not cosmetic. It is not a whim. And it is not inconsequential. Instead, it is a correction. When it comes to nicknames of the church, such as LDS Church, the Mormon Church, or the Church of the Latter-day Saints, the most glaring omission is the absence of the Savior's name. When we discard the Savior's name, we are subtly disregarding all that Jesus Christ did for us. Wow. Big one. When we discard the name of the Savior from the church, we are discarding everything that they say Jesus did for us. Okay. I'm going to continue just a little more here, and then... I've got something to say. That helps all of us find information we need almost instantly, including information about the Lord's Church. Critics say that a correction at this point is unwise. Others feel that because we're known so widely as Mormons and as the Mormon Church, we should make the best of it. If this were a discussion about branding a man-made organization, those arguments might prevail. But in this crucial matter, we look to him whose church this is and acknowledge that the Lord's ways are not and never will be man's ways. If we will be patient and if we will do our part well, the Lord will lead us through this important task. We will want to be courteous and patient in our efforts to correct these errors. Responsible media will be sympathetic in responding to our request. So, what's in a name? When it comes to the name of the Lord's Church, the answer is everything. Jesus Christ directed us to call the church by his name because it is his church filled with his power. Okay, so, Russell, it is everything. And he quoted out of the Doctrine and Covenants where <clears throat> it is said that Jesus told Joseph Smith, for thus shall my church be called in the last days, even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Russell Nelson, rather, you know, he seemed like he criticized or condemned the Church of the Latter-day Saints as a name. And, <laughs> oddly enough, 
when he stated that we actually dump the value and meaning of Jesus and what he supposedly did for us by not calling it the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or having the name of Jesus Christ in it, he seems to have forgotten that Joseph Smith named the church the Church of Christ and then changed it to the Church of the Latter-day Saints, exactly as Russell condemns. He says Jesus is at the helm and impressed upon his mind how important this name is. Didn't he impress it upon Joseph Smith, the prophet of the Restoration, well enough that he couldn't figure things out until four years had elapsed with it being called the Church of the Latter-day Saints, which President Nelson just condemned completely, and act as if, acted as if that was never the name of the church, and uh, as though it's just some erroneous nickname given by Gentiles? Sorry, pal. Joseph Smith and Sidney Rigdon changed the name, probably for business purposes, I'm guessing, since the Church of Christ was already taken in many areas. And so that just didn't work for their business plan. And I guess Jesus forgot to impress upon their minds the fact that some other dudes already had that name since maybe around 1820 in Kentucky. So, um, yeah, bad for business. That's why Joseph Fielding Smith lied about it in church in Essentials in Church History, and that's why Gordon B. Hinckley lied about it in Truth Restored, when he said the original name of the church was the Church of Jesus Christ, as given by divine edict. He also stated at that time that later the Lord, by inspiration, added through his prophet, the words of Latter-day Saints to that original name, the Church of Jesus Christ. As I've said before, it was never named the Church of Jesus Christ, and Gordy somehow didn't mention the fact that it went from the Church of Christ to the Church of the Latter-day Saints, because it don't look good when Jesus just can't figure his stuff out. It takes three times to get it right, and now they want to blame all the nicknames on others, don't we have the Mormon Tabernacle Choir published through the church's own businesses as that nickname? It's a course correction. I guess Jesus was sloughing off when uh, the prophets decided that that was the way to go, huh? In the dishonesty, well, some things just never change. Dodger out.